Ah, uh, peoples, what's good with you? What's hood with you? Back on again with another one. You know what this is. The view from the other side, big pimpin'. You know what this is. And we are going to react to the dangers of sagging pants on the doctors. Yes, sir. That's the doctor's channel. In case you didn't know, it's a TV show in America. So we're going to get into this one. Are you ready? The dangers, you know. Let's go, baby. Intro. So try to imagine how I feel When I see you in those high heels Looking like this And I know that you got a boyfriend And tell him if you don't then I will Cause I will And I know that this will Karma View Media The view from the other side guys so we're gonna get straight into this one boy the dangers of sagging pants the dangers it has to be a clickbait thing how can there be danger you know what i'm saying but we're gonna dig into it don't forget guys hbo help a brother out need that love need that love all right you ready let's get into this let's find out the dangers real quick Welcome back. I'm here with family physician and sex specialist, Dr. Rachel Ross, who's going to help answer some of your saggy, baggy, and shaggy questions. We're going to get right to our first one. It comes from Sharon in Atlanta, Georgia, who writes, Dear doctors, I've been trying to get my 17-year-old son to pull up his pants regardless of what's in style. I just don't think it's appropriate for boys to constantly have their underwear showing. And I recently heard sagging can cause serious nerve problems in the legs is this true all right hold it just there see it says i just don't think it's appropriate for boys to be constantly showing their underwear so it's okay for girls to show their thongs huh it's all right for the thong to be showing up on the hips and all them thing there it's okay for for the bras to be showing the cleavage and all that huh hmm. all right cool sharon cool medically speaking if you notice how low these, the, the pants can sag. If you have a belt that's consistently constricting across the lateral part of your thigh here, the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve can actually get compressed and you have young patients coming in with complaints that their feet are going numb, their legs are hurting, and, and really the quick fix is to pull up your pants and or relax the, the belt. There's so a the nerve, it's it called the on. lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, it runs down the side of your leg and it, 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 it's basically sensory innervation for this entire outer part of your thigh. These kids will end up with numbing, numbness, tingling sensation because you're literally constricting that nerve. It, it's, it's a true neuralgia. All right, since he just paused there, all right, now I know that that is clickbait and this is silly. No one is going to do that and mostly the man did not have it there, the belts aren't tight and you do it with tracksuit bottoms because it just sits there. You get me? I do it in my house when I'm chilling, relaxing. Cause like you can see now. I don't like my knees out and I'm wearing shorts and the shorts are a bit small, so I pull them down to pull them down so they stay there and you gotta sag the back. But if I'm outside, I'm a grown ass man, blood. You get me? It can't be sagging outside my ass all out. That's just stupid. But there is no pressure on the, there's no pressure. You get me? There is none. I can do it now. Do it now that we're on camera. Look, if I stand up, you can see that I'm not saying at all and I'm at home, right? But if I want my things to go past my knees, let, let me just move this back. If I want my shorts to go past my knees, I need to pull them down here. And look, ass out. See what I'm saying? No, there's no pressure here. There's none. Look, this ain't pulled tight. This is just tied together. It's nothing. You know what I mean? There's no pressure here. If you're going to get something and then put pressure, like tight, tight, let's just say it's going to be tight, 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 tight. So then there's pressure here. Then, then yeah, all right, I can see what they're saying. But other than that, it's stupid. You know what I mean? That's dumb. That's dumb. They're trying to say something that's silly. That would be like, also, you can say the same about women, women who wear bras that are too tight. You cut enough circulation here and there and that, like, you're begging, you're begging. You get me? I don't like sagging now that I'm older. Again, <coughs> outside, don't care for it, but let's not beg it. It's also known as skinny pants syndrome because the kids who are wearing super skinny pants, if, you're, if your pant is so tight, and women, this is true for you too. Absolutely. You can compress that nerve. Yeah. And you. Well, 
then that's all women's clothes. All women's cl most of all women's clothes are skin tight, tight, isn't it? That's not. It's don't be like saying gym clothes are inappropriate because they stick to your body. They don't. They don't press that much. Like if I was to pull this in here, right? T-shirts. A little tight. If I start pull this in here and then tighten it down, all right, that might be constricting some blood flow. But even then, there's some people who train like that. You know, dig me. There's people who train like that. So what are you really saying? Nah, man, I can't really go with this flow. You're being silly. Because most clothes, and I'm not a skinny jean wearer. I think that's stupid. I think that's girls' clothes. You know, dig me. So I fix my camera. I think that's girls' clothes. I think that's men wearing women's jeans. I don't give a damn. I don't care. What gangster is wearing it is you're wearing women's jeans, blood. Get me? Same way women have to take off their jeans is the same way you take off your jeans. That means it's women's jeans. Men's jeans just drop off after you unbuckle, un undo, zip down. It should just drop. You get me? Behave yourself, blood. All this wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. What are you taking off resistance bands? Ross. <laughs> Keep turning my camera there. <laughs> Back in. I have to. It's. it's it's a paresthesia. You have to change your behavior if you're getting that numbness there. Yes. So that is a, a legitimate concern, right? Yes. But yep. be, but beyond that, I I have issues just as a physician, as a citizen, when I have to look at young kids and boys, and we even have a picture of Justin Bieber. You know, they're they're showing their like that's that to me is bordering on not wearing clothes and i just see now you say again ah oh, why you got me defending this see i don't like when people go too far you're being stupid now what's the difference between that and a woman with her tits out or a woman wearing a thong what's the difference what is the difference there is no difference his ass is covered at least his ass is covered. I can show you photos of women with their asses out. Just because they got a piece of string in it don't mean that that's okay. But it's okay for women, right? And it's not. And this is frowned upon on men. Do you see the difference? It's okay for a man to walk off with his shirt off. That's fine. Let a woman do it. Drama. Do you see what I'm saying? You can't do that. Can't do that. Yes, you can do it with that. But look. Ass. Titty. Same shit. And if you don't. Ah, it's two different things. Man's ass when he's wearing um um sagging or woman's ass when she's a sagging because they do it too or when they're wearing other clothes when they're wearing short dresses and you can see cheeks literally out. We don't come, men don't complain. You know what I mean? So, so easy. I worry about the message we're <laughs> sending. You know, clothes are designed to help support things. And imagine me walking around the hospital with my scrub below my, <laughs> you know, it's... You, you it, might get extra dates. I mean, because for, for some reason, not. young people tend to think that this is really attractive. And when they, when they look at where this came from, it actually came from the prisons. Prisoners who actually were interested in other male prisoners would wear their pants low like this so that the buttocks is a little exposed so that everybody knows, hey, you know, I, I, I would like some action. That's a fact. I like that she brought that up. That's a fact. And I don't know why that goes over their heads and they still do it. I don't know why. As again, I do it in my house. There's only another adult woman and two children in the house. So I'm not advertising my ass to no one. There ain't no man in here. You under dig me? There ain't no man in here. But me. You get me? So I don't understand why they still do it knowing that when they're outside you're technically advertising your batty to next man that's what you're doing straight up and down because most women will say they don't eat batty and most men would say that they don't have their batty eaten so by a woman so you're advert you're doing the same thing but quick digress just quick it's known abortions in america were started off by a racist family with racist ideals but Today, you will still have black women arguing that it's a right that they should have when the thing was started to erase my people. You lot don't care about life. Why should men care when it comes to their bay? <laughs> so when you think about where this came from, it really, you know, young men across the country really need to stop and pause. And, I, and the, the parents who bring their kids in, and this is the main issue, I always tell them, I said, now 
studies are showing that 70 to 80 percent of all guys who wear their pants like this are actually starting to have erectile problems. So they're actually starting to have trouble with their erection. So sagging is leading to lagging. <laughs> <laughs> now, that there would get man to fix up straight, but that's not true. Because if that was true, it'd be a thing and men wouldn't do it. Men are not dumb. If you're gonna do something, if, if wearing your cap, if wearing your cap like this, yeah, stop blood flow going down to the side of your face so that means this side of the face is gonna die and start leaning like this people would stop wearing their hats like that they'd wear yeah okay going to work you get me I'm not doing that because it's gonna fuck up my face if it did fuck up your penis they wouldn't go they wouldn't wear it they wouldn't do it so i i, I disagree i disagree i think that's a i think that's her trying to scare Oh, well, where my hat now? In the bedroom. Yeah, you know, this has gotten so serious that some businesses, even some towns, are banning people from wearing saggy pants. As men's trousers sag lower, more communities and businesses are passing regulations that limit how low they can go. A Texas shopping mall won the right to ban saggy pants on its property. And in Albany, Georgia, repeat fashion offenders can be fined up to $200. And even those celebrities like his sagginess, Justin Bieber, celebrate those lowriders. There may be genuine medical concerns, besides airing soiled skivvies, for keeping your pants up. You know, this is ultimately a form I get. That's crazy. That's stupid. I can't back that. How is there a law for how you're dressed? How is there a law for that when you could be naked? Now, it's not against the law to be naked. It's not. I know it's not. Because people protest naked, topless and stuff. And you don't get arrested for that. I think it has to be something about... They have to have 10 complaints in a certain amount of time. And some stupid because it doesn't make any sense because if you're protesting or something, then they can't tell you nothing. Privately owned businesses, I guess, can do what they want. They just can't be discriminative. But ain't that discriminating? You know what I mean? It's not saying you got to take your hoodie off because we can't see you in case of, you know, security reasons and that. All right, cool. But yeah, it's okay for someone with a burqa to walk in. That makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. So what? they're allowed to come in and commit crimes then, isn't it? But me with my hoodie on and my face out, no, it's dumb. Them, them clothing rules are a bit backward, you get me? They're a little backward. I guess for a lot of people, personal expression, but I think there's a fine line of personal expression and overexpression. That's why you can't walk down the street, street naked. So I, I think yeah. it's totally... See, he just said you can't walk down the street naked. Sorry, I'm going to have to Google that because I said you can. <clears throat> right, sorry people. We're going to have to just skip, 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 skip. Let's go in here real quick, 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 quick. Just making sure I am recording. Is it illegal? Is it illegal to walk a street naked? There we are. See, this is the UK. Why is it a crime to be naked in public? Okay, it is a crime. I thought it wasn't a crime. Hold on a minute. Mm, sunbathing naked. Alright, let's go. Naked in the US, and then I'll come to see the UK because it said both just then. Okay, the law generally prohibits nudity in public places in the United States. Nudity is also generally illegal on a person's own property if the nude person is visible to the public such as through an open window or sunbathing naked in the yard wow all right did not know that hold in a minute the uk might be the same thing public nudity isn't just frowned upon in the uk in certain circumstances it could be a criminal offense that has been potentially to lead to serious penalties it often the case that oh sorry i can't read the sign indecent exposure that doesn't make any sense because I've seen people protest nude this is where you can be naked in the public in the UK see this makes no sense that's what I'm saying because I'm going to one of these but I'm going to interview people 
the the naked riding. So you can ride around naked, but you can't walk naked. That's stupid. So yeah, naked bike rides. Naked bike ride has been the norm for the years now, but they still cause a bit of a stir. Yeah, that's nothing. The cyclists say it's a protest against car car culture, and oh yeah, I know that. Okay, but last month the police had to intervene in one naked cyclist event after reports of one of the riders got a bit overexcited. <laughs> Guess that's gonna mean it was a dude. He was just told to put his jeans back on before being before being spoken to by the officers. Everyone was talking. Everyone was taking their clothes off to get ready for the ride. I heard gas and turned around and it was a horrible sight. See, that doesn't even explain nothing. Because I'm going to this on the 10th of June. So that doesn't make any sense. That's what I'm saying. You can be naked. It doesn't make any sense. See, look, if you can see this now. Yes, there's some people who are riding who got pants on still. But look, the guy right in the middle with the red dot on his back. He's butt naked. I don't know if that's a hat or a helmet. But he's butt naked, blood. Get me? And there ain't no police, no nothing. Oh, but well, that's Malaysia. All right, cool. But I've got photos of the event, like this event, this one here, this event here. I know that you can be naked in public. There's just rules. There's just rules to it. You know what I'm saying? There's just rules to it. But I know you can be naked in public. Fine, if businesses want to say, look, pull your pants up. Maybe I'm old school, but yeah, kids, just be aware that these things can have true consequences. All right, so that's the end of that one. Well, join me now as the author and commentator Angelica Mallet, Talk TV's Esther Krakow, and Fox News contributor. Oh, right there. Yeah, see, crazy. I don't know. I'm gonna have to dig deeper to find the actual fact on that because I don't think that's true. You know what I mean? Because again, I'm, not, I'm going to a bike ride where they they get butt naked and ride their bikes, and they do it every year. So, how come everyone ain't getting arrested? If it's against the law, because it's not against the law, you know what I'm saying? It might be some guideline thing, but scratch that anyway, because it wasn't really about nudity. Second pants, right? It's annoying. It's silly, and it's it gets more silly as time goes on. Like they have the cheek to sag um, skinny jeans. Like those things are stuck to you to sag them. It's almost impossible, but they still do it. Is what it is, man. What do you guys think? What's your opinion on sagging pants? Is it, should it be a crime? No, it shouldn't be a crime. Fashion shouldn't be a crime. But um, what do you think? Is it bad? What do you think? What do you think? Let me know down below. All right, people, I'm out, man. Stay good, stay blessed. Oh. I guess you can say I'm a player Cause I got bitches everywhere Play your player, you can't pay her Can you keep it on the hush? Cause you're likely to wanna tell your friends how I'm <laughs>